All right, y'all, now that my head is all shaved up and looking clean and all that, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this shaving cream off the counter that I got here. And we're gonna bust out these trimmers. Speaking of trimmers too, man, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, uh, or I think I even posted a story on here on YouTube. I don't know if you guys caught it. But yeah, man, I was informed there were some people using uh, a company that was using some fake clippers, right? They look just like these, right? Just like these, but it was not this brand. This is the official brand. If you guys know what brand this is, you know, you already know. But this ain't to shout out this company. But anyway, the other company had some fake clippers that look exactly like it, same color and everything. So what they decided to do was uh, search some videos up on YouTube from people that use the actual clippers and took our reviews and put it on their website. Like, hey man, these clippers are great. So it's making it think like, you know, like their clippers are good when theirs are, you know, probably crap. They never contacted me to ask me to, you know, if they could use my video. They never contacted me to see if, hey, you want to test our clippers out? Nothing. They just put the video up and in a matter of a couple of days, it probably had 175,000 views or something like that. So I don't know if they got any sales out of it, but if they did, they ain't getting it no more because I contacted them and they had to shut that down real quick. So if anybody else is watching my videos and you would like to use my content, please contact me first. You feel me? You can either drop a comment below or better yet, if you're in you know, a business, you're trying to be official. My email is down below as well, so y'all can contact me there and do things the right way, all right? All right, enough ranting though. Let's go ahead and continue with this uh, grooming tutorial here. I'm busting out the old spray that you actually put under your clippers to clean them. Makes the motor keep going fast. Again, this is stuff that I've all just uh, you know described in all my other videos. So I know you guys are not really gonna go ahead and watch, but you know, if you have a question, just drop a comment below. But keep in mind, I have over like 150 videos maybe on this channel, answering all the questions that you're probably gonna ask right now. So make sure y'all go ahead and check that out as well. After you ask your question, you can go ahead and look for the answer and then you can come back and drop a, a comment to your own comment and say, never mind, I found it good looking. You posted about it, you know, six months ago. And then we'll be all good, you feel me? So now that I got the uh, clippers ready, I always like to start up under the neck. I tell people that all the time. I form a guideline under the neck and then at the end of it right here, that's how I know where I'm gonna line it up. Same thing on the other side. Do the sides right here, the mustache, and then we might even bust out the straight razor to get it extra sharp and clean since I haven't done it in quite a while. Speaking of that too, let me show you all close up how I'm looking right now. So y'all see me? Your boy looking, I ain't even looking too rough as a matter of fact. The line is still there. See, that's what happens when you let your beard grow in full. If you do got, if yours uh, does grow in full, even when it's not, you know, crispy, the hair can't really grow up too much higher because, you know, it's already full. So that's the good thing about having a, a full beard like myself. Even when it's not looking its best, it's still defined. You can see where the line is supposed to be at. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this cut going. By the way, guys, when I ordered this brush right here, based on the picture, I thought it was going to be like this. Oh, no, no, no. This is way bigger. I couldn't tell from the picture, but it still gets the job done. But when I seen it in the mail, I would say, well, how did he do? Uh, let me go ahead and zoom in, though, so you guys can see what I just did. Just formed a nice little line. Now I'm going to get the clippers, go from the bottom, clean it up. You always want to start like this right here, right? You want to start right here at the top and then go down just a little bit. You don't need to scrape them all the way down your neck because the way you're actually supposed to use the clippers is from the bottom and go up. But if you do it like this the whole time and just go up, you might, you know, catch some of your beard and cut it off. So I just like to be careful and just, you know, go down just a little bit, turn it around, clean it up. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that y'all see the uh, guideline that I formed, I got the hair all over my shirt. Let's go. go again after every couple of swipes go ahead and use your brush clean them off that way it prevents the hairs you know from getting trapped in there or falling into the uh you know the handle of the razor and messing it up over time you just want to clean it as much as possible especially if you're cutting if you're using this on more than just your own uh head or your own beard or whatever 
There we go. It's a nice little line. Go ahead and comb away from the line that you're getting ready to cut so you can actually see it. Get those longer hairs out of the way. My side is looking uh, mighty fabulous, if I must say so myself, you feel me? If y'all feel me as well, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you don't feel me, man, I don't know what you're doing, man. I don't know what you're doing. You must be paralyzed if you ain't feeling me. Bottom is done. Sides are done. Front, let's get to it. Best method I do with this is I don't start up high because if you start up high and dip too far like in right here, now the only way to make it look nice is to take a chunk off and then, you know, go lower or, you know, go straight and cut this all off right here. So I like to start at the highest point, not hit a nice little line. And then work my way up this way, and then I'll go back and do towards the mustache. Puff your cheeks out while you're doing the lineup. It, it gives you a better result in the end, trust me. The way this line out is coming up, I don't think I'm gonna need no straight razor. I let my beard grow out long enough, or yeah, for long enough, to the point that hitting it with these clippers is giving it a really nice clean look. Now, if I wanted to line my beard up again in, you know, a couple days before it actually has time to, you know, outgrow the, the line that I'm putting in there right now, then, yeah, that's when you're going to want to use a straight razor to get extra, extra crispy lines. But if you use a uh, straight razor, like, every day or every time you shave, you're definitely going to get some irritation there. That, that would be normal because you, you're, you're shaving layers of your, of your skin off uh, as you're doing it. So before your skin actually has time to heal, you're cutting it off again. It's just going to be irritated and itchy. Trust me, I've done that before plenty of times. Um, sometimes it's worth it. Other times it's not. If I have somewhere to go and I need to look plain for some pictures or whatever, it'll be worth it for me to be itchy or whatever for a couple days and have to, you know, clean it up with some of the oils and uh, creams and stuff I use. Uh, but for the most part, nah, you don't really need to do that. So hold off on it if you can. I'm about to go ahead and line up this mustache. And we'll see how it looks and see if I need to do any type of adjustments. And I'll leave the floor open to y'all, man. Let me know what y'all want to see next. There it is. So this is what the beard is looking like so far. Um, I just decided right here at the last minute that, yes, I am going to go ahead and fade it in um, to make it look real nice and, you know, extra clean. So let's go ahead and do that and we'll be done. Um, sometimes you guys see me when I line my... Uh, or when I fade my sideburns in or whatever, fade the beard down, knock some of the bulk off. I use the uh, the Wall Color Pros, um, but lately I've actually just been using the guards that come with the uh, uh, the detailers that I'm using right here. So these trimmers right here, they come with about three guards, I believe. Let's see which uh, sizes they are. I believe it's one, one and a half, and a half. Again, we want to start with the largest size and then work our way down. So the largest being a one and a half. I'm going to go ahead and snap that on. If you guys are not, you know, you know, barely new, the way you do this is simply just putting it on here, snapping it back, and it snaps into place. So there it is. That's how you put a guard on your trimmers, on your clippers, whatever it may be that you're uh, putting them onto. Go ahead and do this. Now we're going with the grain first, then against the grain. Then we're going to work our way down and, you know, fade it smaller and smaller and smaller until it goes smoothly into a bald head. So let's go ahead and do that. Stretch the skin when possible. Same thing on the other side. Now we're going to throw the one on here. Same thing. With, against, lower, lower, lower. Up next, the half. I mean, really about to make a difference with the half, so be careful on this one. Follow me on Instagram. I tell you all that all the time. No need to if you don't want to, but that's where you guys can catch me posting uh, just about every day. Uh, for those of you guys who are looking for motivation, man, that's what's on my Instagram. So if you guys just really, uh, you know, care about the beard, that's all you want to see. I'm going to advise you guys, don't follow me on Instagram then because my beard ain't about Instagram. Uh, or my Instagram ain't about my beard. I should say it like that. That's the correct way to say it. 
Um, because again, man, a beard is just a beard, man. My beard don't make me. That's uh, what you guys, uh, you know, what people may notice about me. But, you know, I'm not really hype about having a beard. Like, definitely, I ain't down about having no beard. But, you know, there's millions of people out there that got a beard. So, having a beard alone does not separate me from the rest. So, that's why I'm also doing stuff like the embroidery and stuff like that. Because uh, there's a lot fewer people doing this than uh, the beard stuff. So, I uh, just got to venture off, you know, continue doing what I do, continue to build my audience because, you know, the goal is to get 1K, baby. We worked our way up to, at the time of this recording, I've got about 61, maybe 62,000. But, you know, YouTube ain't really rocking with you until you get 1K. And I'm talking about YouTube, the actual company, not the people, not the viewers like you guys. YouTube, YouTube, they ain't inviting you nowhere. They ain't inviting you to no events and stuff like that unless you popular for real. So... That's what I'm actually doing. I'm actually mixing up my uh, my talents and my skills all in one place. And then who knows? After I get that 1K, I might, you know, separate it again. But for now, we got to stay focused. And I'm doing one thing on this here YouTube. Um, I'm actually, I've am actually actually still been uploading videos on my other channel that I'm telling my subscribers from that channel to come over here. But I just like post like little previews and say, hey, if you want to watch the full video, go over to this channel. And, uh, you know, tune in. So, we're working, baby. We still work. By the way, I don't know if y'all can see the shirt because, you know, I'm uh, angled up at my head. But, yeah, make yourself proud t-shirts, baby. I made these a long time ago. I've actually been selling them a little bit more. And I might start making patches of these designs again. So, who knows? You guys might see a video about that shortly. And there we have it. So, the beard is officially done. This is what it came out looking like. Did go ahead and fade it in. Uh, I think I did a decent job doing that. Beard is nice and lined up, looking extra crispy, you feel me? Without even using a straight razor. Um, I feel some tinglingness under my neck right now from actually just putting those clippers up under there and using that cleaning solution, which is the uh, good old witch hazel. Uh, the head is nice and bald, very smooth, bump free, because I actually gave it some time before I decided to shave it again once I noticed I was getting bumps. And yeah, man. So if you guys found this video helpful, definitely go ahead and hit the thumbs up button on the video. Make sure you guys are engaging. Well, I guess I can't say make sure, but I would appreciate it if you guys engage by, you know, hitting the thumbs up button, dropping a comment. I know it's repetitive, but some people watch the videos to the point they're just like, oh, I don't need to comment. I don't need to do it. And hey. That's up to you. So if you do or you don't show love, man, that's up to you. I hope you guys do decide to do that, though. But catch y'all in the next video. Peace.